I'm creating this video for you guys because one of the most um, frustrating things is to create a commercial and then not be able to find it. Um, so basically when you're using Gene, you can go ahead and open PowerPoint and input your images and your text and whatever you're going to talk about um, on your slides. You might have like five, ten slides already set up before you start recording your commercial. Okay, and then you're going to go to Jean and you're going to figure out what area you want to record. So if you're doing PowerPoint, you can actually choose, you know what, I only want this part of the screen to record. Okay, so I've selected just a portion of the screen. Um, and then I'm going to capture a video. Okay, and it will say my mic is going to be on in just a moment. Okay, and at this point I can start recording what's on my screen. <clears throat> So notice that what Gene captures is only this space, okay? Um, after I'm done recording, I can either click, uh, I, can, I can pause the recording if I want to move to a new PowerPoint slide. For example, I pause the recording, maybe I go over here, create a new slide. This is about best uses for Skype. Okay, maybe I have a picture of Skype or something here. And then I can resume the recording. Okay, so now I'm talking about Skype. Um, one of the things I would suggest is, you know, click off of the slide so that, actually I'll pause the recording um, so people don't see all of your text boxes and stuff. All right, so I could resume recording. Now I'm talking about the best uses of Skype. Um, I might even want to take people out to the internet and I can do that as well but this area, I can't change the area that's selected for Gene. Once I'm done recording, I'm going to click Finish Recording. Okay, and then it's going to show a preview of my commercial. Um, it's going to let me create a name for this, so I'll call this Carrie Commercial. Maybe this is Skype. Okay, what I really want you to notice is that there are a few options here. Um, there's Share This via Screencast. There is save this video, um, and this would allow me to save the video to my desktop, um, or there's cancel. Maybe I don't like the video and I want to start over. Um, for this class, I need everybody to go ahead and share via screencast. We've had a lot of problems in the past with them saved as a file on your hard drive. Um, the reason for this is that the file exceeds a certain um, size, Google Sites won't let you attach the file. Um, but if you share via screencast, then you can just um, get an, a URL to the video, and that way you can create a link on your Google site. So we'll go ahead and share via screencast. Okay, you are going to need to allow Gene um, to access your information. I'm not sure why, um, but as you can notice up here, it says uploading to screencast. Okay, and this will take just a few minutes, not too long because this video isn't too large. Okay, and then it says uploaded to screencast. Your capture has been sent and the link is ready to be pasted. Um, if you click OK without viewing the screencast, then you're probably like, oh no, where did my URL go? But if you go back to the gene and you click on history, okay, if you have your files organized by date, it should be this very first one. And I can see here that Yes, it was, um, I'll show you, I'll open it. Um, okay, sorry. Um, you'll see that it has been saved, and all I have to do is click share. Oh, looks like I'm uploading it again. Um, either way, view on screencast. Okay, and so here's my video, and notice that up here is my URL for this video, and this is what I would copy and paste um, into my website. Okay, so I would control copy, and then when I go back to my Google site, I would paste a link to this particular video. And then people should be able to come here and actually play the video. All right, I hope this helps.